but these occupants don't seem too happy to be stopped. <laughs> oh, well, we'll There's you. nothing out there, as I said, I only had four or five, mate, that's all the that's all we got. Oh. The man claims he thinks the limit is four inches, or 100 millimetres, oh. but then he produces a knife he uses as a measure, 20. which seems to tell a different story. It's been a depressingly successful day for Mfish, it and it's not over yet. Even going by their own lower estimate of the minimum size, these local lads are seriously under. A spring tide is due on the Bluff Coast today, and that means action stations for M-Fish. The extra low water will make the young power colonies a temptingly vulnerable target. Historically, this place has been a bit of a problem area for us. Um, we've had poachers come in here and like, clean out whole bays. While observers watch the coast, Fishery Officer Steve is moving into place for spot checks on vehicles coming from Ocean Beach. Just going to have a quick change in the uh, telephone booth into my uh, Superman kit. Right, we're good to go. That's me. Go, Stephen here. Okay, let's we'll see what we can do. Yeah, we're just coming up on the uh, entrance way now, so. We'll try and pull them over. The occupants of this vehicle have been gathering shellfish, and Steve's going to make sure their catch is all above board. Howdy, how are you? Not bad. Steve Logie, Minister of Fisheries. Um, how are you going? What's your name? Tom Pogo. Hey, Tom. You got any shellfish catch on board? Yeah, what have you got, powers or? Yeah. Okay, how many you got? Uh, 13. 13, all right. Yeah, so there's, there's the other young boy and... Hello, g'day. You know what the minimum size is? Uh, four inches. Four inches, that would be 100 millimetres. Five inches is pretty close, it's 125 millimetres is the minimum size. The man claims he thinks the limit is four inches, or 100 millimetres, but then he produces a knife he uses as a measure, which seems to tell a different story. 125. So I know that 125's to there, and if you're using the mark, you're going to be a bit under. Um, you're measuring at about 100 and... 23. The man may be confused about which size he was measuring to, but either way his catch doesn't measure up for Steve. See that one there? It's, yeah, it's just, it's uh, about 116, so we'll put that aside. I'm measuring the greatest length here, so 118, 116. The good thing about these, they, for the majority, is they, they can go back in the water because they're still alive. This dad says he was showing his seven-year-old son how to take power, but today has turned into an unexpected lesson in how not to do it. Yeah, all of us, mate. Yeah. Down the road, Peter's flagged down some beachgoers who seem pretty confident they've stuck to the rules. Know the limit? There, mate. But the first power out of the bag falls short. And the next one. We actually thought it was over the top. Oh, on the round, no. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, anyway, who, thought, who thought that? Well, I don't know. It was <laughs> what somebody had told us, but yeah. yeah. So we did think it was over the top, not from end to okay. end. So well, we very like often. No, this is our first tie. <laughs> Back with Steve, it's not looking good for the family feed. 13 undersize and three legal. So need to write this down. The man will be served with an infringement notice, but at least not quite all is lost. We'll put your three. Legal size ones back in there. At least you get a taste. It's going to be an expensive appetizer. Nice people, just hadn't followed the rules. He faces a $250 infringement um, notice for the, taking undersized power. So they've gone home for, to savour their three power, power, which probably be maybe not as tasting as sweet as they would normally. Pete's car isn't doing much better. Who heard the rule? <laughs> Hey, mate. But this is our first go too, so we don't know what we're doing, obviously. Three, four, eight, under size and three legal, sir. So. Oh, I'm afraid it's the notebook for us. Oh, so. no. You've committed an offence in that you've, um, between you, taken these under size powers, you understand yeah. that? Alright, so we're going to have yeah. to write you up. Um, At least these under size power will now have a chance to breed and replenish much needed stocks. I think they were under when we were picking them so and like I said it's our first time we're from the North Island so we don't do things like that anyway so yeah we'll know to get the huge ones next time. <laughs> Steve's next targets are local lads will they have a better handle on the rules? 
Hello, how are you going? So do you know what the minimum size is? 120, 125? Yeah, but you, you've got one of those is right. 120. No, it's not 120, 125. Numbers clearly aren't a strong point around this neck of the woods. Meanwhile, Pete's been alerted to another car, but these occupants don't seem too happy to be stopped. <laughs> oh, well, we'll There's still... nothing out there, as I said, I only had four or five, mate. That's all the f that's all we got. Oh, I thought you took them out. They claim to be well under their bag limit, and this guy is pretty confident he's got the size right. Not under no, they just fit as but you got a measure? No. Back with Steve, even going by their own lower estimate of the minimum size, these local lads are seriously under. OK. Right. So that one is measuring just on 110. So, and I notice you've got nicks on them. What were what we using to remove them with? Did you have a knife? Oh, I had a steel ruler. Right. I'll just explain the power. I have no clotting mechanism. And um, if you were to use a sharp tool and cut them, you're effectively, they're going to bleed to death. Oh, they'll just turn their toes up. Um, so it's really important to use a flat bladed tool that's not sharp, that, rem that you can lift underneath and just lever them off. The flatter, the wider, the better. Not narrow and sharp like a butcher's knife or a screwdriver. So that's 118. They kept within their catch limits of 10 power each, but with 15 under size, these guys are going to get a sharp lesson that size does matter. Classic situation, we put signs up. Um, we're here just about every spring tide. We still keep finding people that um, claim they don't know what the rules are, but to, the, to these guys' credit, they only had the 10. And that's uh, um, something that, is, you know, that sort of probably goes in their favour. Here's the rules. And these are power gauges. This is one of the older models we've got, but it's pretty effective. You've got to measure the power. It's got to touch that or exceed it. If you're after yellow foot power, there's a little gauge there for that size. So. Meanwhile, the moment of truth for this guy reveals he's spot on. Just on, eh? Like, I'll tell you what, mate, almost a full away 10 to get them four. You didn't believe me, did you? Happy? Well, he's happy, but it turns out his mate's eye wasn't quite so good. It's only one, so uh, your first time you haven't been in trouble fishing fisheries before? No, just put it down as a learning curve. Let's go, just put it down as a verbal reminder, eh? That's yeah, all we do. No, no, we're not there to break the law, Pete, otherwise it would have been taken <laughs> in or more, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we said, hey, they're too small. It's been a depressingly successful day for M Fish, it and it's not over yet. So um, Pete's going to put this back in the water and we're going to go to move down to another location where we've got a couple of uh, vehicles. So. Thanks Pete, good man. Yep, don't fall in. All the offenders received a $250 fine.